Well, mate, you got the uh, last word. Are they all ready to go? Let's hope so. Yeah, no, our preparation's been great like it has been uh, the last two games. And, uh, you know, uh, our last training session yesterday was really sharp, which we wanted it to be, and, uh, yeah. Has it been any different in this preparation compared to one or two, or has it been exactly the same? Well, it's nearly been exactly the same every session. Um, probably this uh, this camp, the sessions have been a little bit less than the ones before. Obviously, you know, the guys have already played two origins, most of them, and uh, been playing club football in between, so you want to, you know, keep them as fresh as possible. And uh, so our sessions have been a little bit less in time, but, you know, the quality's been as good, if not better, and um, certainly, yeah, couldn't be happier. Game one, the team walked, there's a few fans that were giving it to the Blues. Are you expecting them to pipe down this time now that the series is wrapped up? Oh, I wouldn't expect so. Um, you know, that's all a bit of the fun and the banner and it's all, all part of the occasion and it's something we really enjoy and, um, you know, we really, it's part of the day and it's something we all, all really look forward to. It's going to be a uh, historical finish tonight. It's obviously uh, lifting the shield. Uh, do you expect many fans to uh, hang around? Um, I'd imagine there'd be a few, but, you know, it doesn't really worry us too much. We're just going out there to play, win this game and then uh, enjoy the celebrations afterwards. Does the word complacency come up at all? As I've been mentioned once, in, our, in our, any of our team meetings or even at training, um, you, you know, we've prepared this game like we have every other game and we want to win it, more, if not more, as much as any other game. Obviously the high after winning game two, was it hard to shift the focus and say, all right, well that job's done, now let's, let's make it 3-0 and, and, and start our own dynasty? Look, after game two's victory, obviously we enjoyed it for a day or so and uh, a couple enjoyed it a bit more, but, uh, you know, it's been... Uh, you know, since we got back into camp, all we've been focused on has been winning this game. So, have you seen uh, Jared's evolution as a player throughout this series? We all know him as a bloke with immense skills and talent, but just his toughness and his defence, the way he's risen in that regard. How have you seen him you know, evolve? Oh, I thought Jared's well, last year in, in game one, Jared was man of the match in that. Unfortunately, he got injured after that, and. Uh, you know, I think the biggest thing with Jared so this year is that, uh, you know, he's injury free, he's trained really well and his body's in good shape, you know, and I think that, you know, that helps. But, you know, he's been a great footballer for a number of seasons now, and I, but I think this year he's really come of age because of, the, one, because of that fact, and two, you know, he's a lot more mature and he's a lot more dedicated than probably what he was previously, and, you know, he, he's a super footballer. Showpiece for the sport, state of origin, mate, and on a day when... Probably you guys should be getting a lot of tributes and things. We see betting scandals and things like that. I mean, does it take the gloss off what should be a great night for New South Wales? I haven't really read any any papers. Like I've heard bits and pieces about that, so I don't really understand what's going on with any of that. So. Obviously, you know, up here as a team, we've all just been concentrating on this Origin game. So we haven't read too much media at all. When something does go on, mate, and like say there's players, it's mates of blokes and things like that, and there is a drama. I mean, are they that well sh shielded? Do you have them in a cocoon that nothing out from outside really bothers them? Look again, our game, particularly you know the players, are high profile. You know, it's always full of speculation and rumour. You know. And we, we hear that much garbage come through, you know, at team meetings and all that, like, some, not so much team meetings, but in discussions and read it, you know. So we don't take much notice of it. We know what, you know, what's right and what's wrong, and uh, the boys do too. What about as far as tomorrow, uh, a public reception at the Opera House? Um, obviously, you want to take the shield back 3-0. I mean, it's, would it take the gloss off a bit, mate, to get rolled tonight? Look, uh, any Origin game you want to win, and this is no different to any other game we've played, you know, I think uh, winning the series is a great, uh, great feat in itself. You know, because again, take nothing away from the Queensland team; they've won eight series in a row. They're a fantastic team. You know, but again, this team's done something very special. You know, and we need to celebrate that due to in due course. But you know, we've got a game tonight to win. Every Origin you're playing is really tough, and uh, we expect this to be no different. While well, the guys have said that, that, you know, they want to go through Neil and things like that, but it is a big mental hurdle. But have you noticed in training that they are? still up and they're still on, rather than you haven't seen any sort of signs that make you go, oh, hang on a second, but they're not there mentally? I've seen no signs of that. Definitely our training, as I said, has been as good, if not better, because again, I think our halves are a, a, a little bit more experienced than what they were in games one and two. They're obviously taking more control. They're more confident in themselves. I think that confidence is reflected right through the team. So if anything, I think our preparation this game has probably been even better than the previous two. 
three games is necessary when the series has been wrapped up. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Is the third game just as important as ever? Definitely. Now you're talking about what washes here. There hasn't been one. New South Wales hasn't done it for 14 years. So again, it's something that you know, you know this team wants to leave a legacy and to win 3-0 will be massive. But again, we're under no illusion how tough it's going to be. The first two games were great spectacles, old tough, tough games. You know, and, and again, this is against a, you know a great team. Game two was, uh, was probably infamous for being one of the grubbiest games in years. Do you think this will be similar or be open more open? Um, probably a lot depends on the refereeing style, you know what I mean? But again, we're ready for whatever. I hope that it's a bit of a free-throwing affair, but, you know, if we've got to get down in the trenches and, 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 and uh, win that way, so be it, we will. Um, not a lot, because again, we haven't been beaten by much. You know, again, the, the previous years I've been involved, we've been beaten by a couple of points, and you know, at the end of the day, their good players have, have won when the pressure's been put on. But I think this year, um, our guys have got a lot more self-confidence. Uh, you know, they've certainly come into camp with, uh, you know, with the way Laurie's changed things. You know, they've really responded to what he's done. Um, he's responded to uh, the way we've played. We've, you know, changed a few bits from the previous two years particularly in attack and um, you know the guys have got a lot of confidence out of the defence and, and you know and uh, there's just a lot of more self-confidence in the group itself. Matt, how big an achievement would it be to win this series 3-0 given there's two games up in Brisbane? Massive because I think uh, you know obviously home, home game uh, home ground um, advantage is massive particularly in origin but uh, to win 3-0 to win up in Queensland you know, to have two games up here is massive because it is hard enough to win one game at Suncorp and alone two. Have you ever been able to, to stop yourself and just take five minutes to, to think about how you know, historical this is, uh, especially with tonight? Well, I think after game two, we all, uh, you know, we, we had a few drinks that night and we all reflected on you know, what a mighty achievement it was. You know, and we certainly enjoyed the next couple of days and, you know, and, and the weeks leading into the camp. But you know, as I said, since we got into camp, you know, we've been fully focused on winning this game. And, you know, I don't think there's ever such thing as a dead rubber in origin because, again, you know, if, if you're 2-0 up, you want to win three.